Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are gonna be RAM upgrading one of these tiny Lenovo ThinkCenter M93s. This one is from 2014 I believe it says it's somewhere right there. It could be a little bit later might have printed out that sticker a year later. It says 1504 that could be 2015 and the fourth week um, or the fourth month who knows who cares and um, we're gonna be upgrading one of these with more RAM it's um it's not a big deal so why are we gonna be RAM upgrading one well because I have one over here this is my everyday um, home PC and it's right there and uh, this one has been upgraded with uh, well it has six gigabytes of RAM they originally came with four but I put in an extra two gigabytes in there and today we're gonna we're gonna improve on that also I have a new processor in here I have an Xeon processor an E3 1275L version 3 and that will fit in the 1115 socket in there and gives really good performance plus it's not very noisy uh, right now I'm running folding at home uh, so you can hear it if we stick the microphone down to it but I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna upgrade it so I have taken all of the cables out and hopefully they can just sit there and I'll be able to plop them right in when I'm done so here is the machine that we just uh, pulled out and um, as you can see we have another one up here that's the donor that's where the RAM is coming from so we're gonna open this one up it's really easy I fix it toolkit over here and that comes with a nice screwdriver that will that will do this job no problem whatsoever so take that out and the cover slides forward like that and up and um, this has already become a bit dusty I see that so um, yeah I will um, I'll go and clean this up ever so slightly I'll be very careful not to have the fan spin around because last time I did that uh, I broke it and um, the the evil remains is right here that fan uh, is no good no more and all the fins for it is in in this plastic container here so um, yeah be very careful when you're dealing with these fans especially if this computer has been working for years and uh, they become brittle and break so I'll um, I'll stick my finger in it make sure that it cannot turn around and then I'll give it an air compressor workout Okay, that worked great, no problem whatsoever, and I didn't break anything. That was also a good thing. So um, the RAM is located here underneath this hot drive. So we're gonna take the hot drive out. This is an original hot drive. I might be messing a lot of with server stuff, but my PC is really simple. So this is 128 gigabytes, and it's plenty for what I'm doing because Everything I'm doing, I'm doing over at some server somewhere. And um, even my editing system is running on a server. So what this machine does, it does remote desktop uh, to that editing server. And for that, it's plenty good. It's connected to two 4K screens. So it's not as if it's not doing anything at all. So let's see what we have here. This one should be the two gigabyte. If I'm not mistaken, Corsair, uh, probably. Uh, it has six gigabytes, and this one looks very much like the original Lenovo because it has a Lenovo sticker on it. So, um, yeah, it's a giveaway. Uh, there we have it, four gigabytes. Um, you have to be careful when you, if you go shopping for this RAM, it has to be PC3 L RAM. The L is important. I'm not sure if you can replace the RAM and just have two non-L RAM in here, but 
Well, if there's one LRAM in here, you definitely need another LRAM for this to work. So, um, yeah, this one is good, four gigabytes. So what do we have in our donor over here? Oh, um, except that could also do with a cleaning. But up here, this one is a Kingston and it's an eight gigabyte block. So that's the one we want. Otherwise we have the, um, the original Lenovo branded RAM block here as well. We're gonna leave that in here. Might even take that two gigabyte and put over in this. That should work fine in this machine. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because um, that way I'm just upgrading my machine and I don't have to reinstall or do anything. So I'm just swapping the RAM around. Let's put the four gigabytes in the bottom here. That was where it was, so let's keep it there. Awesome. And then put in this eight gigabytes. That means that I'm going from six gigabytes to 12 gigabytes. That's double, that's nice. And putting in this RAM is like putting in any other laptop RAM. You put it in on an angle and it slides in. And when you push it down, it, it gets all the connections. And there is two locking mechanism in each side that um, well make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Also in this machine, this slot is not occupied. It's kind of a slot to put in a wireless adapter to go out the back if you want to run this machine uh, over Wi-Fi. I don't use that, but I have been thinking about if I could use this slot for something else. But my problem is I don't know what that something else would be. So uh, yeah. Someone has a good idea what that could be used for, something cool, do let me know. So that was that RAM upgrade. Ah, uh, what more? Well, we might just um, put it back together and see if it works. Otherwise, I will have to do some swapping around again. I need my machine. Oh, it has a tiny little loudspeaker in the front, so it can actually play music. And it it, it, it's it's not that great, but it's great that it has it. It's way good enough to watch some YouTube video So That is in let's just check the connections on the back here. We have a power connector uh, It comes with a well a tiny little power supply This is it and it's the same thing that Lenovo supplies with many of their laptops it's a 65 watt power supply. It supplies 20 volts, 2.25 amps. So roughly those 65 watts. Then we have a digital display port there. We have another one up here. We have one, two, three USB three connections, VGA connection. Never used that, I believe. Um, yeah, and we have a network connection. We have a hole which is meant for the antenna to go out of if you are going to be using that and then we have this plastic thing that is really in the way when you have to release the network connection that is i am not sure what that is in there for but yeah i have been thinking about removing that so yeah otherwise it's a tiny tiny pc the front power on and off usb 3 microphone which i frequently use when i'm recording my uh, when i'm recording my setup headphones i don't actually use those and then we have a usb the yellow one uh, it's also a usb 3 but this one is always on as soon as there's power to the unit there will be power on this usb connection which is good if you want to charge something you can connect it to that one and um, it will be charged so uh, yeah Here's the label on the back. This one says 2014, but the date manufacturer date, I think that might be uh, 1501. So let's see if we can get these connections back in. Power had fallen down. Okay. There. Screen connection. The other screen connection. Network connection. And the last USB connection. And put it ever so slightly further back again. Yeah, I spent a lot of time trying to fix it so that it would look good or be out of the way. Don't want to mess that up. 
Okay, not sure what it was doing doing boot because uh, it, it was doing it for so long that I got nervous. Um, this is normal, I have to log in and then it will turn on the second screen. So this is where we're at, let's, let's check what it sees of RAM. And we have 12 gigabytes of RAM and that CPU that I have upgraded this one with. So um, the E3 1275L version 3 at 2.7 gigahertz, four cores. And well, it actually has four hyper threading as well. So if we go check that performance there, we get Eight, eight threads, so uh, that is nice. It's really simple to upgrade the RAM in machines like that. If you're in need of uh, machines like this, these are really handy, you can throw them really far. Well, go visit bargainhardware.co.uk uh, where they have laptops, desktops, workstations, servers, rack servers. Do they have monitors? They have graphics cards, I know they have graphics cards. RAM and hard drives, network cards, switches, all kind of good stuff. And if you are on your way out, check out with the promo code MYPLAYHOUSE, small letters all the way, you get 5% off. Um, I am really happy. I upgraded my little machine over there. These are the two other ones that I have that I'm going to be using for another project. Not even here, I guess. Um, but they are very cool small machines that are very affordable. Big companies change them out every three, four years to get something that is more power efficient, more powerful and so on. So yeah, often you can get these for a real good bargain over at Bargain Hardware. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop that. So uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.